that were destroying everyone around me. Addiction is soul destroying. It takes everything about you as a person away. You're constantly living a lie and you're trying to cover your tracks every day. And you realise you're being deceitful to everyone you love, but you can't help it. Hopeless. It's absolutely you. You don't look. You don't see any other any other ways. You don't see the way out. You're trapped. You're alone. Hi, my name's Lusha. Um, I'm a service user rep with Burnley CGL Inspire. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm in recovery. I'm a re recovering alcoholic um, and have been since 2019. Hello, I'm Helen Broadley. Um, I do the community and digital educator role for Inspire East Lanx and I've been in recovery now for two years. Hi, my name's Kevin. I'm a volunteer for Inspire in Preston. I work for Behaviour Change and I've been sober for two years, four months. My name's Jack. I'm a volunteer for Inspire and I am nine months sober. Hello, my name's Gemma. I'm a volunteer trainer for Inspire. Um, I've been sober for 13 months now. Hello, my name's um, Craig Ludlam. I'm a volunteer for CGL uh, as a service user rep in East Lancashire. Uh, I've been in recovery for 16 years and I make mums clean at the minute. And my name is Mark, I'm 43 years old, addict from Poland, nine months in sobriety, working with Inspire, which absolutely changed my life. I'm Charlotte, I'm 30 years old and I live in Colm. Um, I'm a service user rep currently uh, for Nelson Inspire and I'm currently 11 months sober. I was trying to hide the alcohol in plain sight. When I looked at myself in the mirror, it was just, you just wanted to scream at yourself, just wanted to shake yourself and just to wake yourself up. Coming home from work, having a glass of wine, coming home from work, having a glass of wine with tea, glass of wine, finished bottle after tea. It grabbed me so hard where I was waking up through the night, needed a drink constantly. I just didn't care anymore. I was starting to look awful. Once it grabs all of you, it, it doesn't like letting go. You could tell I just looked scruffy. I, was, I wasn't showering, wasn't taking care of myself at all. Alcohol took literally everything from my life. Money, it wasn't the biggest problem. It took dignity my daughter, my family, my job. It's just been consequence after consequence after consequence. It's taken away from me a lot of things, family, relationships, my self-esteem, my self-worth. It gave me a false sense of security. It turned into my partner. The lies, the secrecy. I got up to four bottles of 13.5% Chardonnay in an evening. The hurt I caused. It wasn't a gradual drinking, it was, it grabbed me and that was it. I was living in oblivion. I couldn't go a day without it or an hour without it. It turned into my everything, my whole world. It just rips you apart really. Addiction ruined my life, I lost everything. I genuinely and truly did not think that I would ever become dependent on that substance, and I did. The only thing I cared about was the bottle, and that was it. Nobody else mattered. 
it's just that feeling that you know your life's going nowhere and you're just going round and round in circles doing the same thing groundhog day i didn't like the consequences of my drinking and there were a lot I wouldn't leave the house because I, f I felt like I needed alcohol as a confidence booster. Alcohol robbed me of years. Years. It was hell. It took me away as a person. I wouldn't remember I'd black out, going to seizures. To be honest with you, I felt like I was dying. I felt like I was physically dying. Health-wise, it's impacted my life a lot. Um, I was hospitalised with heart failure. My kids didn't want to see me. They didn't want to be around me. Being out of control, having no control, having no real voice because nobody took you seriously. You were, you were just a drunk. My self-esteem was on the floor um, and I just basically lived to drink and, and drank to live. I didn't want to be here anymore. Just thinking, what, what is this? What am I doing? The shakes, the sweats, but even being in hospital and nearly dying. It got to the point where the last time I was in hospital, um, there was no hope for me at all. They didn't think I had a survival rate. People left me, you know, like friends, and people didn't want to be around me. People couldn't cope, it was too you know, sad for them to see and I just started to deteriorate. I had heart failure, kidney failure, liver failure and two litres of fluid removed from my lungs. I was a grade A student and everything and then when addiction got hold of me, just ripped my life totally apart. They told my family I had 24 hours to live. I couldn't move my hands, I couldn't move my head, I couldn't speak. I couldn't breathe on my own. Horrible, evil thing. And it just, it don't discriminate, does it? My family got told to come into intensive care where I was, and they got told that I didn't have long, so all my family had to come and see me. At this point, I was out of it. And obviously, that they just thought I was going to die. Luckily, I managed to pull through, and then I knew that I had to change. The biggest lesson I've learned in my recovery is to listen to those people who've been there and done it and who are doing what you want to do. It's like now I can't compare myself to the old me to now because the old me, it's something that I was constantly blacked out, constantly in seizures, constantly just not there, not with it, that I don't remember myself as a person. It's as if I was present, but not existing. I'd had enough. My family and my daughter stood by and supported me. The end and the beginning. <sighs> like, you know, this bird phoenix was uh, turned into ashes and then rised again. It's a life that I never dreamed of. Even little things like being present, having my granddaughter, you know, going swimming, going, going with the metal detector on the beach, you know, just simple little things. Recovery to me is a new life, a fresh start something that you've, you've wanted for a long, long time. My son is at that age where he's very impressionable. He's 17 and now he can, like, he can look up to his dad. It's a chance for me to start all over again and show everyone that I can do it and prove everyone wrong that thought there were no chance and no hope for me. You can see the future, you can see things changing. I love that word. I love it. I love the word recovery. You can see what you're going to do moving forward. You imagine what it's going to be like with your son. I have a really good relationship now with my family. I have him 
like almost 50 percent now and we just have a great relationship it's amazing we're constantly laughing enjoying life again um, becoming the person that i want to be he loves coming to see me he loves staying with me you know my relationships with my mum my dad my brothers they're all so much better than they were uh, my daughter's so proud of me i'm going to be a granddad soon i don't know if she'd have told me if i was still drinking and that too, you know, there's all these things that are coming back into my life now. You get an addiction from recovery, if that makes sense. The longer you are sober, the more proud you feel. To me, recovery is having options. It's having freedom to be, be part of the world and be accepted. The impact recovery has had on my life and my family is children being able to get their mum back. For me, recovery is like starting a new life. For me, like, I feel like I was born again. Getting my health back, my life back. I see people progressing. I see them getting further, recovering and growing and changing and living and just loving life. Having that awareness, you know, it's giving me the power because um, first time in my life, I'm in control. It's about uh, becoming the person that, that I've always wanted to be. So thanks for recovery. Uh, I've got contact with my family. I'm talking to my mom nearly every day, talking to my brother, I'm visiting them. Anyone can do it and it's never too late to do it now. I feel proud of myself today. You know, when, from where I've come from and what I've been through to where I am now. During all these months of sobriety, I've been learning how to live again among people in society. And this is a great journey. This is really worth it. This feeling of hope, I can feel it and I can sense the change. Ask for help. It's, it's nothing wrong to, about asking for help. I was like, ah, shy, eh, no, man. No, be brave, ask for help. It's amazing. Can't, it's something I never, never even dreamed. And like I say, I'm just, I'm happy with being content. I've got a wonderful life. I love it. We're all on the same path. We all want to achieve the same goals. And every single one of us want to make sure that we can spread the awareness to as many people as we can. I can look people in the eye. I can walk down the street with confidence. I feel like I've got friends, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm part of a community. It's important that people feel able to get the help that they deserve. I hope this film will encourage people to make a difference in their life, to ask for help, because that's the difficult part. I am really proud of myself because I didn't think I'd be able to do it. I didn't think I'd go a day without a drink. It was amazing, an amazing feeling.